Hi, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tillage, your home defense network. Uh, many people have been asking about a review on my handguns, so I am going to shove some out so you guys can really understand. One of my concealed carry, especially in the wintertime, is going to be my Smith & Wesson Shield. I like it because it is geared for, for me, winter, uh, excuse me, for summertime use light shirts, shorts, that kind of scenario where the profile isn't that big and it doesn't stick out of your pants. Because um, Lord knows you don't need another big bulge coming out of your pants, okay? Striker Fire. This is the first Striker Fire gun I've ever purchased, okay? And why did I need it? I told you uh, why, I guess. Um, I bought it simply because of the single stacked capability of using a firearm. My other low profile handguns that I use for the same thing is my Chiapa Rhino 357. Yes, this is going to be much heavier. And I'm not going to get into the numbers of it, how, you know, where is where, because that's all information online. My other low profile that I use a lot is my Ruger LCR 357. So that's basically, if you want, the philosophy of use of this gun okay it is a striker fire there are two main um, magazines you're gonna have a seven shot and and a uh, pinky extended eight shot for me having two fingers on uh, the pistol isn't that big of a deal because this I don't care um, it is a floating metacarpal right here and for me I don't get any extra control of muscle flip and torquing uh, if this pinky is not there. I used to have a CZ Rami uh, 2075 and um, I was a little bit concerned but that thing was chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson and I was able to hold on to it fine. Okay, This is very concealable. All right? no, uh, no sharp edges. The, the, the trigger has a little safety catch right here where this needs to be dep depressed to to pull the trigger. Okay. One thing about a uh, striker fire gun, you are going to get the same pull over and over again. You are not going to be getting it like with a DASA um, CZ 75P01. DASA. That is double action, where the hammer has to come all the way back. That's going to be a different feel compared to when it's in single action and you're doing there. Okay, There's a lot of trainers out there that are poo-pooing guns like this and saying that you should be using a striker fire clock with no manual safety, etc. With that being said, there's going to be two models of these. One that's going to have a thumb safety like this one does here, and one that does not have a thumb safety. All right. Slide catch or slide um, release. <laughs> People interchange those two and they get very irritated if you don't use the right right one. Okay, For me, the slide catch, you can't pull it down with your thumb anyway. You have to release it normally with the other hand. Taking this thing down is going to be uh, fairly simple for the most part. You're going to be bringing it all the way back with the slide catch, right? You're going to be bringing this lever down. You're going to release it. You're going to shoot it. And then you're going to bring it through. And then it's going to be an easy job taking this stuff out. Okay. I'm going through this because this is something that you should be going through your gun. And you should only use this as preliminary information um, to service uh, your own gun. Okay. And once you have it back, once you have it back, it'll slip in, and you are good to go again. Nice, simple, concealed carry, single stack gun. You cannot go wrong with the Smith & Wesson uh, m and shield. My name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. I hope this helped.